Hello everyone, welcome back to Piranha Bytes, your weekly comic book update. If you're unfamiliar with what we do here at Piranha Bytes, we mainly just go through the new number ones of the week and a few of the new graphic novels that we have in. There's actually quite a lot of good stuff to go through this week, so let's dive right in. First up, Demon Days number one, Blood Feud. It's just another part of the Demon Days universe from Peach Momoko. The only reason it's marked as a number one is because you can pick it up and read it independently. You don't have to read the rest of it. I highly recommend that you do, because it's really, really cool, but you don't have to. Next up, Venom Lethal Protector number one. It's David Michelini back on Venom. Yeah, <laughs> It's just going to be a nice hit of retro goodness. A nice revival of a classic title. Continuing with the retro theme, Wolverine Patch. Larry Hammer is very good at capturing the spirit of 80s and 90s Marvel comics. He's very good at bringing back that over-the-top but still kind of cool dialogue. His Iron Fist miniseries last year was awesome, so hopefully this will be the same quality. Just to mention as well, x Deaths of Wolverine number 5 is the last part of these miniseries, so... If you have been reading it, make sure you pick up number five and don't expect a number six. <laughs> if you have missed any of the issues, we have plenty. Don't worry, you can get them. So DC this week only giving one number one, but it's a cool, very cool number one. Rogues. It's about the Flash villains, obviously the rogues, and they are pulling off one last heist before they die. It sounds depressing and that's because it's Black Label. <laughs> but we love the rogues out here, we love the Flash out here, so... It looks really cool. Next up, Dark Horse have two things this week, which is always nice to see. We like seeing Dark Horse do things. I apologise for the butchering of this name in advance. Stranger Things Kam Kamchatka number one. See? Told you. It's really cool to see the Stranger Things universe kind of grow into a different thing in the comics. Like, I know the TV show is its own thing, but the comics that have come out have actually been good for the most part. It's nice to see it find its footing in a different industry and continue on in a new way. Ah, oh, everybody, come get your demons, because we've got them. We have demons, number one. <laughs> Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo are back at it. Um, they're doing it for Comixology, which is kind of weird. It's being published through Dark Horse physically. I don't know how I feel about Comixology originals, but this looks really cool, so we'll see how it goes. Ah, uh, from Boom and IDW, the team up we've all been waiting for, Power Rangers and Godzilla. Eh, this makes my 90s heart happy, man. <laughs> Seeing them both on one cover, that's just cool. I, I will be getting this. Just <laughs> That's all I've got, I'll be getting that. Last but not least, from Image, Ghost Cage number one. I really only know Nick Dragotta from East of West, and I reread the first volume of that quite recently, so... I'm Quite happy to have more Nick Dragotta in my life. This looks really cool. So, as for graphic novels, I have approximately one copy of this left. It's the whole of the Matt Fraction David Aja run in one book. Chunky book, but a book. If you want this, I would hurry because I, I have one copy. <laughs> it's not going to hang around. Boom Studios are delivering the goods this week. Something's Killing the Children, Volume 4. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this. If you've been waiting for it, please come and collect it. And Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Archive Volume 1. Again, I already mentioned Nighty's Hearts being happy. This is just great. Like, I'm pretty sure I had some of these when I was growing up. Flicking through it now is just... Ah, oh, it's so fun. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Ah, that makes me happy. Last but not least, All-Star Superman gets a deluxe edition. About time, It's this is the benchmark for modern day Superman. If you're writing Superman, you aim to make it better than this. I'm not sure anyone ever will, but we'll see. But that's it from me this week. You'll be relieved to know. If you want a full list of issues that we've got out this week, please check out our newsletter. The link to subscribe to that is in the description below. Please also check out our GoFundMe campaign for our former employee, Greg. The link for that is also in our newsletter. Until next week, have a good one. Piranha. Fight. 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 Piranha. Piranha. Fight. 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 Piranha. 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 Piranha.